Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Thanks for joining us this Monday evening. New York's going week to week on COVID vaccine allotment from the feds, which means there's still very little for the state to distribute to local communities. All right, what's the latest? With a high demand, Onondaga County is looking to help seniors get some appointments. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan joining us live at the On Center right now. Andrew, how would the program work? Well, Christy, this is the county executive's way to cut down on the anxiety of people 65 years of age and older who've had to sit at their computer, navigate through different websites and forms, all competing for the few doses of vaccine available each week. It's been a mess of websites and forms for so many of these people who oftentimes ask a younger relative to help them navigate this race going to different websites for the state or the county or different pharmacies only to fill out the form and then be locked out because the appointment's booked up. A new form the county executive hopes to launch tomorrow on the county's website will allow people to be put on a waiting list and then like a lottery, the number of people called back each week is contingent on the number of doses that are sent to Onondaga County's clinic at the On Center. How do we do this in a way where it's equitable uh, and that's what we're struggling with and it's going to be hard. We'll try something. We'll see how it works. If it doesn't work, we'll try it again uh, and, and you know, there, there's no pride in authorship here. We're just trying to meet uh, an impossible task right now. The county executive hopes that Kinney Drugs will agree to join this program to further reduce the number of websites people have to visit by another. This whole idea is for people to not have to keep going to a computer, keep refreshing their browsers. They sign up once, fill their information into a form, and then wait for their vaccine appointment to come to them. This should launch tomorrow, if not in the days after that, and we will be sure to let you know as soon as that form is up and people can start taking advantage of it. Live in Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.